That's awful. <laughs> Welcome to Cross Lake Cabaret. Hi! Hi, I'm Steffi. Thanks, Tech Andy. <laughs> I'm Lindsay. I'm Vanessa. <laughs> ah! uh, so, I apologize again for the shenanigans that was last week. I'm not a smart man. However... Or a man. No, or smart. Not what I had. Drink your potpourri. Um, <laughs> Pro tip, don't ever buy the pumpkin hearts either. <laughs> Whose choice was that? Andy's. Look <laughs> <laughs> <Your> face. <laughs> mm, nah. Again, I'm making poor decisions lately. <laughs> anyway. You I want it to be I wanted it to I wanted to bleed. I really did. What did you think it was gonna taste like? I have no idea. No idea. I'm getting spice latte. <laughs> That's disgusting. Were you wearing Uggs when you bought this cider? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Aww. Anyway, so because of our technical <laughs> snafu last week, we are repeating our Charleston event. Um, we don't have our lovely teacher, Lizzie. No. She's Disney. in Disneyland. Yeah. Really. Yeah. At the death of the worst things. Mm. I guess. Everything okay over there? He just froze twice, but oh, okay. keep on going. Keep going. All right. <laughs> so we're going to rehash what we did last week, Sam's Lizzie. Uh, and we're also going to give you guys a bit of a context as to why we're moving on to this member that we're doing. Mostly, the, re the primary reason you all need to know about why we're doing this is because it's fucking Star Wars. That's, really That's all. all. That's <laughs> the bomb. Well, <laughs> well, yes. Because Star Wars. Wars. Because Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And Cantina. That's right. But mostly Star Wars. But mostly Star Wars. <laughs> nice head pieces. <laughs> you guys, I can. Can I? Can, 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 can I? Yeah. You okay. can tell everybody. I'm so excited. So, not only are we doing a dance to the Cantina song, not only is it going to be a Charleston number to said Cantina song. We are going to be. <laughs> Wait for it. Cantina chorus Twi'lek girls. Let that sink in for a moment here. So we're all going to be Twi'leks of various colors with the fantastic Liku, and we'll be doing a Charleston number as Twi'leks. And I'm so excited because many, many years ago, um, I did a cosplay in 2000. Nine of I Sakura, mm -hmm. and I made my Liku out of <laughs> blue pleather, hot pleather, hot. Mm -hmm. I, it's, consistently, it makes sense. Like it, it it's got that same yeah. right. Which actually we used it as the picture for our, our promo. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's me and that like us on Facebook thing. Yes. And those Liku are so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> They're so heavy because not only are they pleather. But I stuffed them with like the little um, beads that you would oh, find in like a memory like pillow. A, oh no. Like bean bag beads. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. No. And then like I read from someone who did Liku with nylon stockings, like, oh, like it helps weight the Liku down if you put rice in the tips. And I'm like, oh, I should put rice in the tips. <laughs> Not thinking like nylon versus <laughs> oh, leather. No. So there's like rice in the tips and then like beads and then like pillow stuffing and then pleather and so like all night my head was like <laughs> <laughs> going back and uh, so the whole point of this is I get to redo that costume yeah. with more better Liku which is very exciting. I'm very excited. So we're going to do uh, later shows on how to do the Liku mm -hmm. um, out of materials that we find mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. Once we decide what colors we're going to be. I know, it's very girly. Uh, however, tonight we're going to start off with the reason why we're doing this number the way that we're doing it, like kind of the explanation and the direction and the story we want to tell with this number, as well as some basics to Charleston. Now, if you guys may recall back to one of our very, very first episodes, I think it was like the first. The first. The first. The first. The first. The first. Uh, which is why I think we're doing this again. Wow. We're running! We're doing donuts! <laughs> okay. Uh, ah. Yeah, it's a choice tonight. Alright, so uh, we're gonna do the Charleston and we're gonna do Charleston basics and then kind of like how to modify the Charleston. And I'm not sure if you guys 
know the history of the Charleston, but I'm sure we'll get to that later. But let's just kind of go over the why we're doing this number and where it fits into our ostensibly the point of Cosplay Cabaret, which is to do live performances. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of lost sight of the point of why we were doing this. I thought it was just a live stream, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now we have a laser beam. No, I just trust you to remember that all the time. You're your job. Yeah. You're the holder of the vision. You're the glue. <laughs> I thought I was the glue. All right, Nisha. <laughs> Don't ever say that. Whoa! <laughs> That's fire. So, moving on. Moving on. Let's <laughs> move on! <laughs> we have, like, he's our keyboard cat. It'll just be a oh. great, like, transition. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. He's an off-camera keyboard cat. Oh man, so we're just not, we're not. He's, he's trying to distract us. He's our, our laser pointer. Our tech is trying to distract us from actually paying attention to the camera, which is great. It's totally working for me, though, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, <laughs> see, see, they tell you that laser pointers are just for cats, but really they're also for Lindsay's and Vanessa's, and I'm, apparently I have overcome the laser pointer. Demo needs to be the adult. Whee! Yay! Pumpkin. So, are you going to talk about this, or am I going to talk about this? I will talk about this. <laughs> so, our very, very first number that we ever did as Cosplay Cabaret was the Star Trek Swim Through Space. Space, 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 space. We did not rehearse that. <laughs> we did not rehearse that. That was amazing. So we have this like space boner, right? Like, I don't know about yeah, you guys, boner. but like space is fucking cool. Um, and I don't know, I'm, as members of space, I feel like it's a good place to start. We are members of space. I am an inhabitant of space. Yes, we are. I mean, if you want to think that big and blow your mind, happy Monday. <laughs> Also, the Voyagers exited the heliosphere. I don't know if you guys have yeah. heard this, the creepy sounds of deep space. Yeah. What does it sound like? Um, I can't tell you or recreate it because it's fucking it's terrifying. Really, yeah, you can't <laughs> like, I would like to hear it. So, like Justin Bieber? Mm. <laughs> if Bieber was in deep space, I will just end it right now. Just yeah, he may actually sound like that in deep space. We should send him there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Biebs. <laughs> um, anyway, so we figured that a good, like, route along this space boner that we all have. Ride, yep. ride the space boner. It's like a, it's like a quasar. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, we wanted to do something Star Wars-y, and this is gonna be one of the first of many Star Wars numbers that we all do, because it's fucking Star Wars. And it's the Cantina song, and there's nothing really, there, there's like two or three songs out of the Star Wars compendium Mm. That are the songs that people are like, oh, Star Wars, and the Cantina song is definitely one of them. And it is the most different than the rest. It really the rest is. is a little bit more like, you know, symphonic, and the Cantina song is Charleston. -y. He uses fucking steel drums, which I can't stand. <laughs> but our choreographer loves them, which is good, because it's good. we are scared of that, and she's like, no, it's great, because you can fill that in with these things. And I'm like, ah, that is why you are with us, thank God. <laughs> Yeah. I'm buying you both steel drums for Christmas. No! Come <laughs> <me. laughs> <Come> on! <laughs> you know, every time you do that, I think of Batman. Like the first Batman. You don't think of Rogue Dragon? I mean, Rogue Dragon. Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the Star Wars Cantina Band song. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, Tech Andy! This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> 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 So, uh, I, if you guys have not seen New Hope, and if you haven't, then just turn off this There is no hope. Mmm. Mm. There are people who haven't seen New Hope. Yes. Right? Shocking. You might as well just end it now. Right? That's what I try and say. Anyway, so, uh, in Moss Eisley, uh, they reference the whole city as a wretched um, hive of scum and villainy. And so, in, in history, because we're all also history freaks over here, like, ah. Uh, that's a boner sound. Um, Speaking of, Dickens Fair is starting soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so we like history. We just recently finished doing the Gatsby Picnic, Gatsby Summer Afternoon, um, mm -hmm. which is an Art Deco themed mm -hmm. performance that we all kind of do cutesy Charleston stuff too. Mm -hmm. um, and so that era of history, which is kind of the Prohibition era, I'm not sure if you guys know. The flapper but, era. Yeah, the flapper where they outlawed alcohol. Yes, it's true, kids. I know they did that for like five years or however many. 
Um, so it, Prohibition is a very interesting time, and a lot of stuff came out of Prohibition, like jazz and flappers and Gatsby and all that shit. Um, and so, and, 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 and that's where I think that's And that's far. Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah, that's why they raced around the track, is because back in the day when they loaded up their cars, they would have races to see where they could deliver the fastest. Yeah. Ooh. Makes sense. And so then, cool. those Nick. races were over. What? Net car. That's right. Mm -hmm. And when, mm -hmm. once those races were over, they were like, but that's still fun to race cars. Yeah. Yeah. And so then that's why NASCAR. Makes sense. Because yeah. cars were fairly new at that point. So. Oh, cool. Like, the more you know. Yep. Didn't rehearse that either. So. I'm giving away all our secrets. <sighs> just drink heavily. It's fine. So this whole like era of prohibition and these gangsters really, to me, fit perfectly with the concept of Moss Eisley and his cantina, which is where all of these galactic gangsters, alliteration, mm. gathered. Ah, more alliteration! Say three times fast. Galactic gangster gathering, galactic gangster gathering, galactic gangster gathering. Oh, that's good. Mm. Good move yeah. mm. Thanks, booze. Anyway, so it seemed to make a lot of sense to me to kind of theme the Cantina Band song around a dance found in that era of history where um, criminal activity was kind of rife, mm -hmm. hence the Charleston. It also just fits musically. So oh, totally. Here's mm -hmm. that. We tried to make it fit into a can-can. We did. We wanted it to be the can-can cantina, mm -hmm. which we really wanted to make it work, and it just wasn't... It's not fast enough. It wasn't fitting. And then all of a sudden it's... We've, we've done it before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have done it. It's been... It's not... But it's, it's like, easier. It works better than Charleston. Yeah. It sounds like Charleston. It has all the horns and all that going on. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's very... It has that 20s kind of feel to it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully... In this episode of Cosplay Coverage, you will learn what a Charleston is. And with that, we're moving on to how Charleston. No, mm -hmm. those are still our how-to sessions. Yeah, the how-to. I will get us more booze though. I'm Please sorry. don't. Okay. These are because you have to learn it. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I wanted to try it because I always wondered what my grandma's potpourri would taste like. No, I know. <laughs> So I guess I guess I'm gonna be teaching this. Yeah. <laughs> Dick. Yes. So um <laughs> yay. <laughs> I'm really sad that Lizzie is not here because Lizzie is awesome at teaching dance steps, you know, as we learned during the Gatsby where she taught us in three days, which is amazing. So if you want to start out in Charleston, um, it's a lot of fancy footwork pretty much. There's a lot of uh, focus on your feet. You do things with your hands, but they're pretty basic. You know, you don't you're generally not doing the whole huge amount. It's very jazzy. But um, if you want to start out with the first, just a basic Charleston, what you're going to do is you're going to take your right foot and you're going to point it in front of you. Ooh. And then right. you flick it out to the side and put it behind you. And then you basically do the same thing with the other foot where you go out here and to the front and to the front. And that's pretty much it. You're just like kind of stepping back and forth. You can keep your hands up here. Yeah. So that's like really, I mean, it's really just a basic Charleston. It's just like stepping back and forth and back and forth. So when you're doing that, you can get with your, your hands, your hands kind of naturally do this, you know? So when you're stepping, you can like swing your hands. Oh, I see. My drunk on pumpkin latte, whatever bullshit that was. You're welcome. See, okay, so that's your basic Charleston. If you want to speed it up a little bit, and then be front, back, back. And so are we putting our full foot down when we tap? It's mostly your toe. Like, a, it's going to be your toe. Toe. Or ball of your foot, you know? I usually, when I do it, I'm, I'm putting ball of my foot. And then as Lizzie was teaching last week, when you flicked out to the side, you're kind of flicking your heel up. So, but it's really like, depending on how fast the music is, it's how, how high you're going to be able to flick your heel. I find, because I'm not very good at the Charleston, that I flick my right foot higher than my left foot. Oh, interesting. <laughs> every time. Every time. Your left foot's higher. Yeah. I always do. Mine is because you. That's funny. You were standing behind me. Yeah. I know. I was. 
So then, once you have the basic Charleston down, you can also do what's, what's called ooh, a double tap, which is the same thing, only you're going to tap twice in the front, twice in the back. Usually we're only doing that with one, one foot. We don't usually do like this side then, right? No. It's lopsided. Like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I guess it depends on what foot you start with. Because <laughs> if you were to start with the left, then you would probably tap the foot. Do do do. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so it just depends on the foot. I don't think I've ever done one with we started on the left. It's Me. always on the right. So so yeah, so we'll do a little Charleston real quick. The front, back, front, and then double tap with the right into the back. Again. Mmm, so that's like really simple, really simple. And a lot of like you can you see dancers doing the Charleston and that's really all they do. And then they just ham it up on the top. Mm -hmm. You know. Or you get a lot in your knees where you're like, you know, and why do you know why they would focus mostly on the flailing of the feet? I cannot remember. <laughs> that was he told us last week. I thought it was because headlines were coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was like, yay, like all yeah, this yeah. freedom. Yeah, there was definitely a freedom. And I mean, the style of that era was very much the dresses were like potato sacks, you know? Mm -hmm. It was just like very straight. And the hemlines were up a little bit, so you had a little bit of looseness that you could like really kick your legs out. Whereas before that, the dresses were all, you know, no sugar ankle. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Lindsay was also mentioning that the reason why your upper body is so quiet is because there wasn't a lot of support. Mm -hmm. Up in this oh, region, that would make yeah. sense. So that you wanted to keep it really quiet, or else you know, things other than your hands are flailing. That's right, because they got rid of the corset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the twenties was really an era where where it was like no, it was like the seventies with bras, I guess. <laughs> you know, where it's like get rid of the corsets, get rid of this long dress, freedom, freedom. Yeah. So so then uh, once you have a basic a basic Charleston down, you can add on other things like what the lovely Vanessa taught our first first episode, which was a box step. Ooh. Which is super nice. So you can like do a little little Charleston Charleston step, and then you can step forward, cross with your left, step back, and then back together. So super easy. Like we do it again. Teach us what our feet are doing. Yeah. So for a box step, if you didn't watch the first episode. You step forward with the right, and then you cross with the left, and then step back with the right, and then step together with the left. Together. So it's basically like you can do it different ways. Like you can do, but if we're since we're doing we're doing a lot of stuff where we're starting from one position, it's good to step together so that you can reset. Mm. You know. But <laughs> like we did last week, which you didn't see, there was another move that we learned that was the the Yay. monkey knees. Also, if you let into something like that, you would probably want to step more like this, so that you're like ready to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. We did the scarecrow after that. Right? We did. We did. So for the scarecrow, it's good to step together. So if you if you were to start from your basic, so let's do let's do two counts of the basic and then one double tap, and then and then what we're gonna do is a scarecrow, which is basically where you sweep your right foot up and out, and then you. Bring your knees in and your elbows up. Appropriate like, for the autumnal season. I don't know. <laughs> so that one's a really easy, like, little move, which is great starting from here. So what do your heads do? It falls whichever way you would like. You can keep it like straight up and down, you can turn it left to the right. Okay. Whichever. I usually go this way. I do too. Yeah, me as well. <laughs> mm. Mm. So. So do that if you want to link those up together. Well, that should be the how to. The the how to. Okay. Yes. <laughs> how much time do we have, Tech Andy? Forty minutes. <laughs> Plenty of time. Yeah. Cool. So all right. So let's just review the things that we that, that we've done so far. So we've done a basic. Yes. Which would be front, back. You can swing your arms. And we've done the double. We've done a double tap also, which mm -hmm. is just like two in the front, two in the back. Sorry, I keep backing up. And that's the, like, usually you're doing like, I think it's usually your hands are doing just do, do, yeah. And that's super simple. 
And then we have the box step, which is your step forward, cross with your left, step back with your right, and back with your left. And then we've also done the scarecrow, which is a swing your leg across, and like this. It looks silly. It and looks it really is. silly. But it's awesome. It's really silly. <laughs> you know the 20s are really literal with their dance moves. I mean, I'm sure you can see how this would look like a scarecrow. Mm -hmm. uh, the other move that Lizzie was mentioning last week, which I thought was quite hilarious, was a move called the itches, where you're basically voguing like you have fleas. Like it's like a like any sort of like making body movements that you're itching. Big bugs. Hooray. Hooray. People have fleas back then still too. Sure. Or people bed have bugs. fleas now. And bed bugs. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. the tenderloin. <laughs> <laughs> so there's I guess there's many different kinds of Charleston and then there's lots of twenties moves called like the scarecrow or the itches or you know, monkey knees. Monkey knees, which we have not done. taught yet. Yeah. So monkey knees is really easy and it's it's Fancy looking because it has this like illusion like your legs are crossing or your arms are crossed. It's very funny. So you like stand with your with your feet apart and you want to bend your knees and you have your hands on your knees and when you bring your knees together you switch your hands to your opposite knees. And then you switch back. And that's it. And if you get really good at it, it's kind of like a moonwalk. It looks like you're doing like something that's not actually happening. <laughs> Where you're like, oh no, oh my hands are crossing. Now are you um, using, like, is it always your right over your left? Or I switch back and forth. I switch back and forth. Huh. So you will sometimes I'll go your... right over left. Oh no, I do left, left over, over right. Just because I think that it's, for me, um, changing it keeps the illusion. Whereas if you're doing the same thing every time, then if someone's paying attention to it, then they're going to pick up on it. Mm -hmm. Could you do that really slowly to show? Yeah. So I do right over left, and then left over right. Oh. I've never done it like that. That's so yeah, funny. Yeah, I've always done it one side. Huh. Yeah, I've always done it one side. Yeah. But it totally makes sense to switch it's a it little up. More, it makes it a little more complicated visually, so that sure. someone's brain doesn't quite sure. pick up on it as much. So totally. Cool. Hmm. That's my logic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That is really neat. Are you guys trying it on the screen? Because you should try it. Yeah, you should actually try it. It's kind of fun. <laughs> it's like patting your tummy and rubbing your head. Like you can't overthink it because then you won't do no, it. No, you're supposed to rub your tummy and pat your head. Whatever. <laughs> That's what wait, I'm wait, wait. About. Now rub your head and pat your tummy. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? <laughs> Broke your brain. <laughs> I will never get tired of it. Yay. Yay. Right. Well, you shouldn't. No. So yay. So that's that was pretty much all. The, that was the moves that we learned last week from Lizzie. We also got a sweet history lesson, which I'm so bummed about. We can't get that again. So, no. Yeah. So Lizzie is one of the things that's awesome about Lizzie is that when she really wants to to know a subject, she will like go crazy research and learn everything there is to know about it and watch all the videos and watch all the movies and so she not only does she know all of the Charleston moves from doing just research, she also knows all the history of it just from doing research on it, which is awesome. So we're sad she's not here. <laughs> You're very sad she's not here. Yeah. So let's do one more just basic basic breakdown of each of the moves mm -hmm. and there's really break and sure. then when we come back we'll like s stitch all those things together. Sure. With the music. Who's in? Yeah. So okay, so basic Charleston. Starting and with try it with us because you've seen it. So now yeah. try it. No so it's hands up. Start with your right foot and go right foot in front, right foot in back, left foot in back, left foot in front. Well, your left foot's already in front. Well, you have to, but you bring your foot back. No, that's the point. No. Right foot in front, your left foot's already in front. No, I know. Left, left foot in back, back, and then in front. That's what I'm done myself. I thought you said it before. No. <laughs> I was like, what? Because then you bring your foot back. Yeah. Yeah. I told you I'm not I'm not a strong child center. <laughs> Having me teach this is fine. Yay. Okay. So again, right foot in front and right foot in back, left foot in back, left foot in front, right foot in front, right foot in back, left foot in back, left foot in front. So that's your basic, basic child center. So then the double tap, which is the same thing, only you're just gonna tap with your right foot in the front and the back two times. 
So it'll be right to the front, front and back, back, front, back, back. And the, the double tab is good because you can really accent your flick because you have more time to do it. So then, oh, the box step. So the box step, once again, to the right is right foot steps forward, left foot crosses over, right foot back, left foot. And again, yeah, front, cross, back, together. How about the left side? Yeah, if you wanted to do it on the left side, it's basically the exact same thing, only opposite. So you'd be left foot front, right foot cross, left foot back, right foot back. And some people like to get, I know Katrina does this in, in Deco Bills, when she does the box step, she does a big swoop down when she does it, which is kind of dynamic, gives you a little bit more life. She was right in front of me when I was dancing with her, and I was like, I like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so let's do it. Let's do one to the right and one to the left. Yeah. Because it's complicated. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, to the left. And then monkey knees. Monkey knees. So monkey knees. And cross, 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 cross. I'm a ridiculous person. And the scarecrow. And the scarecrow. Which is just a free and again. Let's play. That feels weird. <laughs> yeah, it's bizarre. Interesting. Because hmm. I think usually when I when I do the scarecrow, I usually bring in this leg more. More. So yeah. So if I do it with the left leg, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's what's really nice is uh, each person's scarecrow is really unique, mm -hmm. and it's not supposed to be uniform. And that's what's so great about the 20s is it's all supposed to be kind of really wild and unique to you, mm -hmm. and it's your style. And everyone was really drunk in the 20s. So a lot of the dances that you see from the era are big and wild and loose. Mm -hmm. So if you are doing something and like one knee is far more in than the other, like that's great. Like it's not ballet in the realm of like, this is first position and it has to look this one way. Mm -hmm. You really can dress it up with your own style so that when, like when we're doing it and we're all the Twi'leks, we're all gonna do it a little bit differently, but that's what is gonna enhance the act and make it more dynamic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's you know one of the things about the, the that era in particular and dances from that era is that there's this there's this sense of like out of control that seems to be like how it looks, but it's very very at the same time very controlled, which I think is really crazy. Like people look like oh my god they're gonna hurt themselves, <laughs> and it and it works because they're so the timing is so good. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's all, all of our little basic moves that we're doing today. And then we'll break, and when we come back, we're going to seam all those separate moves together into one big thing. Whee! <laughs> Swoop on! Swoop on! <laughs> Easy! Or with the kitty!
balls in your mouth. Where the balls, your balls, your balls. <laughs> your balls. I always admit you guys at the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your balls, your balls. And you're on. <laughs> <laughs> you need your balls. What has happened to you? Hmm. This Great. is Lindsay's hat of dancing plus two. Plus two. Because you, you can fall. be in the middle. Oh, okay. Ha. Yeah. Put my bows on your So now we're gonna we're gonna put our put little my bows on your shoulder. What did Cinderella <laughs> say when she got to the ball? See <laughs> 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 what you did there, guys. <laughs> Where are my smoke bombs? I just need a bandolier of smoke bombs. Yeah. You know, all the time. True. Could they explode into bubbles? Yeah. You know, you smoke get the bomb smoke bubbles. bombs that are a little bomb. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so what's happening now is we're going to seam all of the um, moves that we just did before our break into a seamless string seam. of awesome dance moves. So, seams and strings. Yep. And, and we're not even sewing. We're going to thread them together. Yep. Wow. Uh, so I'm joking. <laughs> yes. So, um, so we're going to do the Charleston first. So it will be, I believe, two Charlestons. Do you How many counts of eight is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to do a double tap. Double tap. Double tap. Is it a second double tap? I think it was yeah. two sets. Yeah. Then we'll do another. Double tap. Double tap. Then we're gonna go to a box step, box step, and then we'll do a brush, a scarecrow, and then we'll go into those monkeys. I know that's a lot, that's a lot for me. So it'll be two Charlestons, two double taps, <laughs> uh, then it'll be the box step, no, yes, yes. yes. Right. box step, okay. and then, what? Mm. Mm. Charleston's <laughs> double, tap, double tap, box, uh, scarecrow, and then monkey knees. How many counts of monkey knees are we doing? I don't know. We'll see what the music tells us. Just keep going. I would okay. say two eights. Sure. Two eights. All right. So let's. And then we can go. So before we begin doing this, it should be noted that um, we are doing a very, 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 very slow. Oh, you mean when we're teaching? That's correct. That's right. So when Stephanie was teaching Charleston earlier, we were really slowing it down. The counts to the cantina music are far faster. So uh, when you see us doing this up to speed, um, it will be quite different than what we did earlier. It's yeah, like, it's like double time. Yeah. yeah. That's okay because we yeah. did it really slow with you all previously. And if you want to get up to this speed, it just takes some practice. So. It does. Let's try it. Have you and we're waiting for the first opening bit. Yes. What do you mean? There's an opening. We can't. I think when we did it last week, we counted like two counts of eight before we start. Sure. Because mm -hmm. it starts. This song, if you have listened to the Cantina song, starts very suddenly. You mean like this? <laughs> So you'll notice that it may seem like a lot when we're teaching it and you're like, oh my god, there's two eight counts at 16 and there's two more eight counts, that's another 16 and there's like eight counts of monkey, two 16s, no, the 16 of monkey, sure. whatever, right? It, it adds up, but because it's so fast, like as you, as you saw, like I did a shitty example of this, but it, it, because the music is so fast, it speeds up all of the work you've done. Mm -hmm. Right. So you think you've done so much, but really, all of those moves are in very short periods. It goes really quick. Don't let that discourage you, though. I mean, well, that's the good thing about doing a lot of uh, performance like this is there's a lot of stuff that's repeated. 
So once you know like a nice little string of different moves, you can go, and now we're gonna do that again. <laughs> it's like a chorus in a song, how a chorus repeats itself. So you kind of find like your your chunk of dance moves that you can repeat. Like we do this often in Can Can with our kick lines, right? We often just keep kicking, right? Like an animal do knee kicks. It's the same kind of thing with choreography is you find that like a section of, of moves that you really like and you just repeat them as often as you'd like. There's no rhyme or reason. So let's try it again. Um, let's try it again without music this time, maybe up to speed, and then we can try it again with music. With counting. Yeah. So the folks at home know how to count. Would you That's count one, of the, one, of the, Thank you. one of the things you learn when you're learning dance is that you start not really noticing the music quite as much because you're all it's all numbers. Yeah. All math. It's the same with dance, it's the same with singing, it's the same mm -hmm. with DJing, it's all like you're counting, like and five, six, seven, eight, go. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was done with math when no. I left school. You were wrong. And if you don't like math, like if you're one of those people who doesn't like math or you were in school especially, you didn't like fractions, welcome to music, because music is all about fractions. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, I'll count us. Yes, yes, you ready? So you're gonna count the two blanks. I'm just gonna do five, five seven, eight. Okay. okay. Five, six, seven, eight. That's it, that's it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, we have two monkeys, yeah. two eight counts of monkeys. Cool. This is why counting is very useful when you're on the ground. It's counting. Well, the scarecrow is also the last time we're staggering. And so you pass it. Ah, yes, I remember you that. Had a, you had a double count. Ah, oh, that's right. One, so, two. No, the, 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 the scarecrow. Oh! So you do yours. So, scarecrow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we second count. Count. And you held it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So front does the first eight, holds, yeah. back does the second That's eight. That's right. why I'm like, we're missing an eight somewhere. Ah, sure where it is. Is. But there's also, do we do we stagger it on the four? So like, Vanessa goes one, two, three, four, and we start ours. No, 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 I remember. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven. Eight. That makes that makes more sense. And see, this is why counting is super important to what you want to convey in a number because you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but that could take a very, very long time. So you can just half the counts. One, two, three, four, or whatever. But you can cut it in half and just do it faster. Yep. Yep. Otherwise I'll have people standing in the back doing stupid stuff like that never happens. Never. Okay. No, no, like your dad. Do something while you're standing back there? No, <laughs> no. I don't know what you're talking about. Everything's yeah, and I think that when we were when we did it last year, last week, I think that she weighed the full full four sets of eight on the opening. Okay. Because it fits with the phrasing better. Okay. Let's so try again. <laughs> Crazy counting. Otherwise, we end up stopping in, in the middle of a set. Because this is one of the things you learn about like music that's that's in in four four is that. Quite often you have four sets of that, which we're counting in eights because we're counting half time, so. Well, then will you start us off? Sure. <laughs> Go, music. <laughs> yeah. So you have like four sets of eights and be it for how many? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, it's probably that's running on stage and setting. Right. Probably. Probably. Hit it, Tech Andy! Please and thank you. World peace. Okay, Fail. that button that happens.
We did with the monkeys that we weren't doing was the counting is that we did at half time. So we slowed it down. So it's effectively two counts of eight. No, you could do it. Yeah. Yeah, we, we could speed it up. Yeah. Oh, we just do more. But we were doing it half time. We were. Time. It seemed to fit better with the music. Yeah. Um, we also did, there's also that delay of four counts. Well, we did you two did. sets of eight that time. I was up the on scare the floor. The scarecrow, right. So that's the, that's the other thing is the scarecrow is actually faster. Then a whole count of eight. It's only you guys have to start a four count sooner. That's what I said initially. Yeah. Was starting on the four because yeah. otherwise, it's, and you and you saw like we just kind of stood there, we're like, Durr. yeah. And in, mm -hmm. in dancing, you you kind of want to avoid the dead space of people just standing around waiting for their count because sorry, <laughs> that's not a crow. That's a raven. I know ravens also like scarecrows. Hmm. I like Corbett. Those are my favorites. They are both Corbett's. They are both Corbett's. No, but they are different. Yes, they so are. this is Welcome to Dance Rehearsal. This is pretty much what, what you do to dance rehearsal. You run it, and you run it, and you run it, and you tweak, and you run it, and you tweak, and you run it. Ravens have tails shaped like a V, and crows are flat. Also, ravens have bigger beaks. They have hooks on the ends. Boys have a penis. Crows have a Ew, don't be gross. Don't be gross. Andy, Andy is talking about sex ed. Don't talk about peepees and vajayjays. Ravens are all You know what I'm rock at? That's the name of my rock star chick. What? My rock star chick's name is vajayjay. I guess I'm going to have to name my peepee. So fun. <laughs> so good change. Do you want to do one more time? One more time. Okay. So to be clear, let's do one, two, everything three, on four, the count. Five, 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 six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Are we clear? So we clear as mud. So you guys are quick. Like as soon as I hit that, you gotta put in there. Okay. Got it. Yes. Go team! Go Weird. 
sound of the Caribbean does not fit a little bit, but Lizzie, our fantastic friend from overseas, beyond the Jamaica bobsled team, which is what I think of every time. Right? Feel the rhythm every time. I and I think I think it's the Billy Ocean video for Loverboy. Mm. <laughs> which, if you haven't seen that video, it's totally a ripoff of Most Lives in the Cantina. If you haven't actually watched it. It's about an alien who goes into a very most Eisley looking cantina and steals a girl and rides off with her down the beach. Aww. Oh, it is it's cute, wow. and it's a really terrible Billy Ocean song from the eighties. So the other things that we were doing, just like I watched a lot of MTV as a kid. I had a babysitter, you know. <laughs> Yay! So the other things that we were doing, just fooling around that you saw us doing, were uh, we were messing around with the double knees. So again, this is like a lot of. The choreography that we do is a lot of like messing around and seeing YouTube videos and being like, I like that, I'm taking that, and implementing it into your dance. That's how art works. That's <laughs> art. <It's> true. <laughs> life is art and art is life something. Yes. So with those knees, it's um, knees to the right. Left. Or left. <laughs> but if they're looking at, it, at us, it's like, mm -hmm. I made up for it. That's a, that's a workout. Or about Twi'leks, 
or about how we're going to do stuff. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Please let us know via, Sorry, that's my Twitter, via Twitter or the chat box. Um, yes. If you want us to clarify any of the moves more or further. Please mm -hmm. let us know. If you have any special color or acrylics you want us to be. Yeah, what know? color do you want us to be? Oh yeah. man, do we want to open that Pandora's box? It doesn't mean we don't have, have to do it. Do it. No. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, Aww, you did say you weren't a smart man. No, nope. you're not a man. <laughs> no. Or not smart. that too. <laughs> mm, wow. Do you like the one the one ear? I do actually. I think it's very charming. Mm -hmm. You can be the gold Twi'lek, and I can be the pearl essence. Twi'lek, mm -hmm. and then you can be the blue Twi'lek, because she likes blue. Because I'm obsessed with blue. <laughs> Give me all the blue. So, definitely. I'm going to be the black Twi'lek. Like your soul. I like the, um, I worked at a fundraiser that some friends did for it, what is known as the Black Rock Cantina that they were involved in the first year at Burning Man that they were doing that. And one of the girls was dressed up with the red and black with the whole... Like a Sith? Thing. Like a Darth yeah. Maul? Darth like, Maul Twi'lek? Sith Twi'lek. I believe I have seen photos of her. We I was do like, that. Ooh. I don't want to be a Sith Twi'lek. No. Twi Somebody should though. I want to be a pearl color. <laughs> no. No. Like no. opalescent. You can't, you can't tempt me with your dark side. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm white white. You can tempt me with your pumpkin cider. <sighs> that's not a... In your mouth. No. <laughs> Alright, so that's been our stream. Are there any questions out there, Tech Andy? None. None. That's all right. There was a nice conversation earlier about the first three episodes versus the second three episodes of Star Wars, and then that was promptly shut down as a, no, we're not talking about this. We don't talk about one through three. No. They don't exist. Uh, there is a question of what's the story for the dance, if there is one. Ooh! Yes. The story is, um, we are all... Twi'lek chorus girls who are employed by the cantina bar and that we are their hired entertainment. So we yeah, are chorus girls like the 20s where yeah. they, a bar, a speakeasy, mm -hmm. would have entertainment, chorus girls. I definitely think chorus girls when I see Twi'leks actually. Yeah, right? <laughs> Which is great. Yeah. Other than Aya Sakura who is yeah. not a slave Twi'lek, she yeah. is a fucking Jedi. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. keep your shit straight. Keep your shit straight. Um, so yeah, so the, the, the story is that we're all chorus girls of the bar and that this, and that actually, and how I've visioned in my brain is that off the side of the camera, if we were to expand the camera, when like Han is, you know, having like the inner working dealings, like there we are, like there are chorus oh, girls in that, in that bar dancing. So I'm thinking of it as if the frame of the camera were to be expanded even more, there would be chorus girls there, just like in the 20s with speakeasy bars, there would be oh, yeah. entertainment. Oh, entertain those. Yeah, it's unusual to have a bar without dancing girls in it. And there's two more questions. Ooh. One, do you all have previous dancing experience prior to cosplay peppering? Yes! A we lot. actually, all three of us are in two different dance troupes together as well, one of which focuses on can, -can and the other of which focuses on kind of 20s style stuff. So we've used a lot of what we've learned from the deco levels because um, we do a lot of Charleston stuff there and incorporated that here as well, which has been really great. They're both fantastic, Little Can Can Bijou and Deco Bells, both are fantastic troops and definitely follow them as right. well. Yeah. And what's nice with, with those is they really gave us a springboard into, again, mashing a lot of our dance experience with what brought us all together even further, which was our giant nerd, gasmic community and love. and we had this brainchild of why can't both of those things exist and mm -hmm. hence why cosplay cabaret came into fruition is we get to take all of that dance experience that we have and all of our giant dork nerd love and put it into one thing because we wouldn't be able to do a star wars cantina 20s routine with the deco bells because they're very period they're very appropriate they want to be same with can can. <laughs> the same same with can can you know, they want to be theme in that theme. So yeah. it's nice to have a another space where we can do that. Every mash up all the things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good question. Uh, will, the, will there be anybody else joining you for this dance? Yes. yes. 
At least Lizzie for sure. Lizzie, our forever for sure. Yep. And then of course, um, how Cosplay Cabaret works is a network. So we have a private Facebook group for just cast members in which we say, hey, this is our idea. This is what we want to do. Is anyone interested? And then we kind of put out that casting call to our network, if you will. And then we see who's interested. And then we take that poll and then kind of go from there. Yep. yep. Which is why we had, we had Barbara join us for the Siren Speak that mm -hmm. we just did a couple weekends ago. And that was fantastic. It was the fir our first gig, live gig as a group, and it was the first time that we've done a gig with Barbara as part of the group, mm -hmm. or done a thing with Barbara, generally, Yeah. yeah. So as part of this, who's also in both of the dancers. So. Yeah, and the idea is, if you want to join, like, please do. There's a form available online, you can fill it out and join us, should yeah. you feel the need to. Please be a part of our network. Yeah, everyone is included. Everybody. Guys included, or just girls? Guys as well. Yeah. Sometimes we need a guy. Yeah. 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 We're looking for a girl. Sometimes you need a man. <laughs> well, then we want to be. We want to be really supportive and encompassing, and really, it's just a safe space where we can all be nerds and in a place of safe, non-judgmental, supportive environment, which is not limited to women. It's limited to anybody who can play nice in the same Because yeah, we're we're learning new things. Also, we're learning how to make new costume stuff. Learning how to sew. Learning how to make headdresses learning new dance routines and it's you know it's fun it's not just like oh let's go be nerds we also get to be creative as a group so it's a safe space to also come and have no idea what you're doing and that's okay and learn something new <laughs> where did you get those leggings Lindsay? where did you get the target target <laughs> i didn't wear mine <laughs> yeah, stephanie has a matching pair because we're idiots Cause, uh, they look really good with our uh, R2D2 and C3PO bathing suits. Yes. And by good, we mean awesome. And there, there's still two more questions. Oh, oh my god. Funny how that works out, because somebody keeps adding a question before mine. <laughs> um, do any of you have experience playing instruments? Yes, yeah. I do. Um, I play the banjo and the manjo. Manjo. Which is a banjo plus a mandolin. Yes. Which is awesome. Play a little bit of the mandolin as well, um, but mostly ukulele and a little bit of guitar. I'm better than I think I am. That's yeah, what are. everyone tells me, but I feel like I suck. <laughs> um, my first instrument is the slap jaw, which is or yeah, which is what like Snoopy plays mm -hmm. um, when he's like traveling around. Did you hurt? Did you hurt? Is that yeah? Oh, okay. Well, I also yeah. So I play that instrument. The also, break, the break your teeth part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not if you're playing it. Correctly. Yes. And then I'm teaching myself the um, ukulele, and I sing. Yay! Singing, which we all sing because we mm -hmm. did that for our first gig. Which is also <laughs> an instrument. Yes. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. And we're always looking for more people who play instruments. So. Yes. And then my question: When you guys perform this, will there be cookies? Ooh. Come to the dark side because we have cookies, yes. but we're not part of the dark side. That's why I'm asking. But will there be cookies? Oh, no. you're bringing them. We'll have cake. Jedi's have cake. Jedi's have cake. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. Don't leave me. Yeah. Don't leave me. That's awkward. Someone's like, I like yeah. I just don't but I'm a pie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can have cake and pie. <gasps> it's like a turducken, but with desserts. Yeah. Like so a, if you like want a cake inside a pie. Oh, a pie inside a pie. Cookies pie. inside oh, a pie. Oh, inside a pie cake. inside of a cake. Jedi's All have cake. All coated in ice cream and deep fried. No. No. <laughs> Is that all for the questions? No, <laughs> all right. Well, um, on that note, thank you so much, um, Lindsay. Where can people find you when you're not streaming? Um, which is this is the only time I do stream. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Lindsay Geektron. You can find me on Twitter TV at Lindsay Geektron. Geektron Products is the YouTube channel, and Facebook is Agent Geektron. You'll be streaming again soon. I have I have a sense. Yeah. And where can <laughs> people find you? Uh, right here. Dancing at golf clubs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually, usually, yeah, that's usually where. And I, I'm on um, um, Twitter as Stephanie and various other YouTube. What am I on YouTube? Oh, Persephone, yes. And you can find me as Road Dragon 13 on the Instagram and the Twitter. And you can find all of us on uh, Cosplay Cabaret Facebook page. 
And Tuesday nights, you can find me back here on the Miss Clicks channel. I mm -hmm. am part of the D&D Soulbound crew. I play a very ferocious and very agile rogue dragon who has all the smoke bombs, and he's very good at finding traps with his feet. Um, he's the best ever. He sings a lot and speaks in third person. I am Rogue Dragon. And, uh, so you, you, you won't find Vanessa, you'll find Rogue Dragon. Yeah, well, we are one of the same. <laughs> so, if you like Dungeons and Dragons and people like me pretending they're a Rogue Dragon, um, tune in. That is at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Ta da! Thank you so much, Miss Clicks, for putting your hopes, faith, yes. dreams, faith, dreams in us. And um, we will see you all next week. Yes. Bye guys. Bye. 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 B